Investors, who's ready for another week worth of investing amidst all the recent insanity of earnings season, where emotions are certainly running high and a false sense of optimism is brewing out there as we're coming to discover the reality of our economic backdrop. But more on all of that in a bit. If you're new here, I'm Ari, your dividend investor here on YouTube with all the need to know macros before you invest and the dividend stock ideas to get you financially free. Now as for today, of course, we're gonna to get to those macros and then dive right into seven dividend stocks worth your attention right now. With that, how about we dive right in? Now, how about we begin here with a quick personal account update, whereas my account is sitting at $123,588.59, which sounds great, but if you've been following my channel or literally you're just plugged into the stock market in any sense, you'll know that within the last couple of days, we lost a ton of momentum. So my account is actually down by about two to 3%. And while I'm not worried given my investment strategy as a long-term dividend investor, we as investors should understand what in the world is going on here because there's only more downside to come, at least in my opinion. Now first, I wanna share exactly what I shared two weeks ago, which was not to be surprised if we lose steam because earnings season always drives investors to the point of stupidity or in nicer terms, irrationality. Whereas we see stock share prices surge, then come plummeting back down. And that's all this phenomenon of what I like to call emotional investing. But now we also have to recognize the more important economic factors to prepare ourselves for what may be a massive buying opportunity in the coming months. And based on the latest non-farm payrolls, depicting a still incredibly strong labor market, a solid GDP report that was released not too long ago, and the Federal Reserve that remains hawkish, with the latest out of the Chicago Fed, as Austin Goosby shares that nothing is gonna be off the table in terms of more interest rate hikes coming our way. Now investors, this is where I'm only going to continue to warn you once again that a high interest rate environment will impact the markets as businesses become more pressurized. Now, will it be a recession? Not sure, but a downturn? Absolutely. And as mentioned before, it will only make for one heck of a buying opportunity, but that isn't to say that stocks right now aren't on sale already, which leads me to the very first dividend stock that I wanna to add to your watch list today, which may even arouse some controversy out there, but it was an incredible investment for me and remains one to look into right now. It's Omnicom Group, ticker symbol OMC which for those of you who are not familiar with it is a massive global media marketing and advertising behemoth with a multitude of agencies operating under its belt and moreover with a portfolio of clients that only continue to partner with Omnicom to drive their profitability. I'm talking about clients like Nike, McDonald's, Pepsi, that's just a few among the 5,000 plus of them. However, as of recent, their share price tanked to just $82 per share from $98 after earnings that didn't quite beat expectations. As for that PE ratio of theirs, it's at 12.2, creating a heck of an opportunity because the economy, when it fully recovers, is gonna call an Omnicom, and I'm sure this one's gonna surge right back to those highs. We can even see analyst optimism out there with analysts forecasting a share price at $100 per share. That's 21.19% worth of upside. And until it reaches the heights of that share price, well, we can collect on a dividend here with a dividend yield coming in at 3.31%. Next up, a dividend stock that I mentioned not too long ago that's only been climbing since I last mentioned it, and even though it's not tax season, one for the list here, H&R Block, ticker symbol HRB which is a tax prep and service company offering assistance and do-it-yourself tax services. To be honest, outside of tax season, it is often dismissed, which is where the opportunity for us dividend investors really comes in. And as you can see, its share price is down by roughly 12%, trading for only $34 per share with a PE ratio coming in at just 11.4. And while analysts only foresee nominal upside here of nearly 3%, the insiders have been buying more shares as of late. To simply hold for the long term would be a wise move, and of course you're gonna be reaping that dividend as H&R Block shells out a dividend yield coming in at 3.45%. Now before we get to our third dividend stock, investors, I wanna ask for your help in letting me know that this content is of value to you. That's all you have to do is tap right on that thumbs up button for me. And of course, if you're looking for more new dividend stock ideas on a weekly basis, you'll also wanna make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Now with that, 
let's get back to it with ExxonMobil, ticker symbol XOM, which I'm sure you already know of as an oil and gas giant. A matter of fact, it's the largest direct descendant of Rockefeller's Standard Oil. But that's not necessarily why it's on today's list. It's on the list today because it recently went into the lithium business and found itself in talks with electronic vehicle makers like Tesla and Ford. Now, I don't think their oil and gas segments will just fade into the mist, but this is a pivot nonetheless and a green one to say the least. If successful, ExxonMobil will certainly soar or at least rebound from their recent lows here of $105 per share after it fell from around $120 per share, leaving that PE ratio now hovering around 8.5. And you'll want to check in here with the insiders because there's been buying activity. And just as of yesterday, a director purchased almost $50 million worth of the stock, which is a pretty strong indication to buy. But if you're looking for what analysts are saying, they're also predicting upside as well. About 19.22% worth of it with the share price hitting $126.08 per share. And until then, shareholders will be able to enjoy the dividend yield coming in at 3.37%. Moving on to yet another previously mentioned dividend stock opportunity, let's talk about Amgen, ticker symbol AMGN, which I've mentioned quite often recently because it's just a powerhouse within the healthcare industry as a biotech leader, one of the largest in the world working to cure serious illnesses and also diseases that often only have a limited number of treatment options. Now, previously, I mentioned that regulators were on Amgen's case about a recent acquisition, which is why we have a share price that's down around $229 per share, still down considerably from the very beginning of the year and already beginning to climb, yet with the PE ratio still at a cool 15.8. And looking ahead, analysts only foresee more upside coming Amgen's way, about 8.5% worth of it, with the share price hitting $248.71. But in the meantime, this dividend stock is going to be shelling out a dividend at a yield of 3.51%. Next up, a chemical company that was once a subsidiary of Kodak, we have Eastman Chemical, ticker symbol EMN, which now operates as a global specialty materials company and produces a broad range of advanced materials and chemicals used in our everyday lives that we never really come to think about, from the tires on our cars and fibers to cleaners and glasses. Now, think macro for a second here to realize that as consumers stop spending, companies like Eastman took a hit and therefore we have Eastman trading for $83.96 per share. That's down by almost 7% from this time last year, still with a low P ratio at 14.6, which in my opinion triggered the hedge funds to move in on Eastman as we see smart money pouring more and more money in. And that also gave way for analyst optimism here with 13% worth of upside predicted, coming up to a share price of $94.92 per share. Now, of course, until it reaches the heights of that share price, we as dividend investors will enjoy the dividend yield coming in at 3.65%. Moving along here, our next dividend stock is Fidelity National Financial, ticker symbol FNF, which is a provider of title insurance and settlement services to the real estate industry. And with real estate about to be completely shaken up in the coming months, I would really recommend looking into FNF for a long-term investment. Now, I think it will come down a tad more here, but as of this video, still a solid buy, in my opinion, at a share price of $38.87 per share. It's down by 10% year to date with a PE ratio at just 16, which gives the green flag for hedge funds to begin buying in already last quarter. And I would imagine that they're gonna be holding here for the longer term. Not to mention analysts who are also projecting plenty of upside, almost 16% worth of it, coming up to a share price of $45 per share. But the best part about investing into Fidelity National for those dividend investors with the patience to do so is the dividend with a dividend yield coming in at 4.57%. And finally, last but not least, a dividend stock that I feel might be contested amongst all the dividend investors out there, Amcor, ticker symbol AMCR which is a leading developer and producer of high quality packaging for the food, beverage, and pharmaceutical industries. So again, a company that we normally wouldn't think about, and honestly, because Amcor isn't exactly a high growth opportunity, whereas the share price would pop off to $100 per share, Amcor is often typically overlooked. 
But as we can see, the time to buy would be now with a share price that is down by nearly 17% on the year, trading for just $9.79 per share, that P-E ratio at 15.2. And upon an economic turnaround, when demand begins to bounce back, analysts do foresee a share price rising to $10.26 per share. It's almost 5% worth of upside. And while I get that doesn't sound like anything too profitable, in time, we could see Amcor climb back up to $12 per share, which would be a range worth collecting on, and of course, enjoying that dividend yield at 4.75%. Now, investors, there you have it, the seven dividend stocks worth adding to your watch list right now. But now I have to know your thoughts on any or all of these stocks. And of course, if you have better ones in mind, drop a comment down below. And if you're looking for more dividend stock ideas, then you're just one click away. That's all you have to do is tap on this video right here. But before you do, make sure you tap on that thumbs up button. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to never miss a single video.